So if you grew up before 2002, then your ITV1 would have looked vastly different to the way it does now, where the only regional identity we see is in the channel's news broadcasts. However, before 2002, things were very different where regional identity was one of ITV's main priorities. By the dawn of the 21st century, there were 15 different ITV franchise holders, each of them serving one or more regions. The one we're going to be talking about today was the one that served the northeast of Scotland and its outer islands. And that franchise is none other than Grampian. The year is 1960, and the Independent Television Authority, or the ITA as it was often abbreviated, is looking for a franchise to serve the northeast of Scotland. Originally, there were seven applicants for the region. Out of the seven that applied, three of them were considered worthy enough to take on the role of the franchise serving the northeast of Scotland. Eventually, in August of the same year, North of Scotland Television Limited was the one chosen to serve the region, on the provision that the two other contenders were awarded board positions within the company. The first head of the company was G. E. Ward Thomas, who would actually go ahead to launch Yorkshire Television in 1968. Everything seems as if it's going quite good so far. However, there was one problem. Ah, of course, they needed a name. North of Scotland Television, whilst perfectly describing the region it served, was a bit... Crap. So, they need a new name. A brand identity. One that would stand out from the crowd whose paws would weep with pure sophistication. So, the higher-ups at North of Scotland Television take a look outside and realise it's been staring them in the face this whole time. Ah yes, Grampian. Everything looks good so far. So. When will we be launching? Grampian announces its planned launch date as the 1st of October 1961. However, things didn't exactly go to plan. Four months prior, the post office told ITV that the links that would connect Grampian to the network would not be ready until February of 1962. However, Grampian wasn't going to give up that easily. Because of Grampian's transmitter issues, it left them only able to broadcast from STV's output. Pressure from the highest levels of government ensured that the links were in place in time for the station's launch. Finally, after months of preparation, Grampian went on the air on the 30th of September 1961 at quarter to three in the afternoon, making it the 15th ITV franchise to launch. With the opening announcement from Grampian's continuity announcer Douglas Kinnock and a brief welcome from the ITA's chairman, Sir Ivon Fitzpatrick. Following Grampian's brief opening, the station handed over to ABC's network coverage of racing from Catterick. At the time of Grampian's launch, it served a potential of 332,000 people in 98,000 homes. In its first year on the air, Grampian produced nine different television programmes, namely News and Views, which was a thrice-weekly magazine programme. With the channel producing so many programmes in such a short amount of time, viewership growth was sure to follow, right? Well, wrong. It transpired that only 13% of Grampian's intended audience reach was actually tuning into the channel. Viewers in its key serving area, Dundee, were still tuning into STV via the strong signal of the Black Hill transmitter. The problems in Dundee, along with the equity strike that very same year, led to heavy financial losses, leading to a subsequent reduction in transmitter rentals for Grampian. However, in 1962, Grampian succeeded in increasing its audience reach for Dundee and the region as a whole, leading to a sharp boost in viewership. Towards the end of the decade, Grampian's potential audience reached just over a million viewers. Due to its rather small size as a company, Grampian was slower than most to begin colour broadcasting. Eventually, after a lot of tinkering, Grampian finally began colour broadcasting in September 1971, just in time to mark the station's 10th birthday. Aside from this, Grampian didn't come up with a number of technical firsts. The most notable of these came in 1978, when Grampian decided to replace 16mm cameras for ENG cameras for its news broadcasts. 
which finally allowed Grampian Today, which was its news programme, to broadcast five days a week rather than the original three days a week. Later developments allowed Grampian to enhance its regional news programmes and its overall presentation, which relied heavily on InVision continuity. Like all the other ITV regions, Grampian was an independent franchise, meaning that it was self-owned. The 1990s saw ITV shifting around its franchises and changing the way that the network was run. These changes included the beginning of Carlton's tenure, TSW's surprising franchise loss, and not to mention ITV's decision to introduce a uniform brand across all of its regions. Arguably the biggest changes, however, were Granada vs Carlton, in which both of the companies started buying out the ITV franchises. To protect it from this, the Scottish media group, who also owned STV, decided to buy out Grampian in 1997. The buyout led to a various cutbacks in staffing and Grampian's programme production. The buyout had also forced Grampian out of its Aberdeen studios and down into STV studios in Glasgow. Grampian's iconic Saltair was also dropped in favour of STV's logo of the time. It got to the point where Grampian felt more like STV and all of a sudden didn't really stand out amongst all the other ITV regions. It seemed as though Grampian had lost touch with what it used to be. Because at this point it was basically just STV with a different name. In March 2006, the Scottish media group announced that it would be retiring the Grampian name and bringing it under the STV brand. The decision to rebrand the station was met with much criticism across the former Grampian region. One of the primary reasons for this criticism was that the culture between Celtic and Central Scotland is very different. Central Scotland primarily speaks English, whilst the northern areas of Scotland also have Scottish Gaelic as a primary language. Airing a programme of a different language in a region of a country that doesn't speak it would be highly impractical and a huge mistake on STV's part. Just how it is within ITV today, the only traces of Grampian that people actually saw was within the news bulletins. This lasted until 2009, when Grampian today was rebranded as STV News, officially eliminating all traces of the Grampian name on television. Officially bringing to an end 48 years of regional television in the northeast of Scotland. Overall, Grampian had a fairly turbulent life, from its difficult beginnings in the 60s, to its heyday in the 70s, to its takeover in the 90s. Grampian definitely proved itself to be one of regionalised ITV's biggest triumphs.